Yo, what's going on guys, Colton Munch back at it with another video, and in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts on the future of virtual reality gaming. Now, VR is a hot topic these days with the recent announcement that the PlayStation VR will be releasing in October, and for $400, a lot of people seem to be on board with PSVR, and as far as Oculus and HTC Vive, a lot of people seem to think that's overpriced, and a lot of people in general just think that VR is a gimmick and that it's something that'll fade away in like a year or two. And really, you've got three groups of people right now. People that are all in on VR think it's the future of gaming, people in the middle that think VR is pretty cool but they need more key applications on it, and more killer apps that say, oh my god, I need to get this right away. And then people on the other side that are like, man, keep VR away, I'll just play with my traditional keyboard and mouse or I'll play with my controller. VR is something that's gonna fade away real quick. The one thing I don't agree with is the people that is saying that VR is too expensive and that's why it won't succeed. Now, I don't disagree with the fact that VR is expensive. Yes, VR is very, very expensive. The cheapest VR you're going to be getting is the PSVR, and that's going to require you to have a PlayStation 4, the PlayStation camera, the PlayStation Move controller. So in total, if you want a VR experience, it's going to cost you like eight, $900. That's very expensive. And then when you look at something like the Oculus Rift, the Oculus Rift is $600, and then you're going to need a very beefy PC, something at the minimum of a $1,000 PC. That's just something a lot of people are not going to be able to afford. But so many things start out that way. Computers started out as a super luxury item. Very old consoles back in the day were super expensive. Hardly anyone could afford them. And just over time, the hardware gets cheaper and cheaper to manufacture. And suddenly the price becomes affordable to the masses. But the early consumers, yeah, you're going to have to pay a pretty penny. The majority of the people are going to wait. And if it does click, eventually the price is going to gonna go down and if it doesn't it'll just fade away but I think just for people saying oh my god it's too expensive it's never gonna catch on I think that's incorrect $400 for the PSVR is very palatable for a lot of people and you can see that by the pre-orders on Amazon UK the pre-orders for the PSVR sold out in 10 minutes so that tells me there's a lot of people very very excited for PSVR there's a lot of people that are willing to pay this much money and think about it this way, all the games that are announced for PSVR, they're not that interesting. The biggest marquee title that's announced for PSVR is Gran Turismo Sport. And is everybody really a racing fan that's gonna go buy PSVR just to play Gran Turismo? I don't think so. The majority of Gran Turismo fans, I would think, would prefer to just play with a controller anyway. I mean, you got other games like Riggs Mechanized Combat League, but for the most part, these are unproven games. These are games we hardly know anything about. We know a game called Star Wars Battlefront VR Experience. We don't even know what that game is, and people are like, oh my god, yeah, Star Wars Battlefront coming to PSVR. We don't even know what the game is, and people are excited. Now, that's the console gamer with the PC gamer I think just a lot of people are against VR right now due to the price and I'm with you on that but there are still people that are gonna buy the Oculus Rift and they're gonna buy the HTC Vive and we'll see if the applications and the games are good and quality then people will eventually come around and everyone will buy VR but if there are no good games or there are no good application, VR is going to die really quickly. Look at PlayStation Move. Sony was so behind that thing for like six months and then they just got lazy, stopped releasing games, stopped supporting it, and that thing died out. Even something like the Nintendo Wii, even though that sold really, really well initially, after all the soccer moms got their hands on the console, played a couple shovelware games, the hardcore gamers just realized there's not that many good games on the Nintendo Wii outside of the first party games, and a lot of the hardcore gamers have seemed to abandon Nintendo, and that continued on with the Wii U. So applications and games are key, and right now with PSVR and Oculus Rift, I just think people are pre-ordering it based on hype alone. There's no experiences that I see, oh my god, this is a must-experience game, this is a must experience application. I don't see any of that. The one thing that's kind of cool with the PlayStation VR, and I believe Oculus is doing this too, is that there's a theater mode that's going to let you play all your existing games, but it'll make a bigger screen. That's kind of cool. I could see that being a cool gimmick for five or 10 minutes. But again, that's not a VR selling application. You got stuff like Until Dawn, Rush of Blood, PSVR Worlds. These just seem like such shovelware type games that I'm just not interested in at all. But VR does have a lot of potential. Right now, there's a lot of hype, and the best idea would be to capitalize on it. Hopefully for the PlayStation 4 guys, Sony will announce something killer at E3. And for the PC guys, it's a bit harder because there is no first party on PC developing games for VR. With PlayStation VR, you have Sony that's pouring a lot of money into the development of games for the unit. So at least you're getting games like Gran Turismo Sport, Riggs Mechanized Combat League, and all those other kinds of games. With PC, it's up to each and individual developer if they want to utilize VR, and hopefully some of them do get on board. Hopefully this is something that...
hopefully this is something that can add a layer to gaming. I know a lot of people just want to stay away from that and stick to keyboard and mouse or controller their whole life, but I wouldn't mind a new experience being added to gaming. So let me know what you guys think. VR is a very hot topic these days and it's a very divisive topic because a lot of people are on one side, a lot of people are on the other. Right now, I'm still in the middle. They got to show some killer apps. They got to show some games that I really want to play because right now there's a few cool games here and there, but nothing that makes me want to spend $400 for the PSVR or $600 for the Oculus rift so as always guys thanks for watching if you have a request for a future video leave it in the comment section down below now we'll catch you guys in the next one peace out